The first case, hospital chaplain, you said, giving Holy Communion to a person who is not a Catholic. Oh, but the Holy Eucharist is not an ecumenical instrument. It is the celebration of the Catholic family, those who believe the same thing in union with the Pope and the Bishop and the parish priest. You notice that the name of the Pope and the Bishop of the diocese are named in every Mass. Therefore, a person who does not share the Catholic faith does not receive Holy Communion, whether the person is sick or not. However, the church has very stringent conditions for individual Christians who are not Catholics, who can be given Holy Communion in emergencies. Very stringent conditions in canon law and in the Pope's encyclical, Ecclesia de Eucharistia of John Paul II, and also other documents. And that will, in brief, it will be this. If there's a person of a, a Catholic, no, no, a Christian baptized of another Christian family who believes the same thing as the Catholic Church, believes the same thing, cannot find a pastor of his or her religion near, desires very strongly to receive Holy Communion, and would be in great spiritual difficulty if they did not, and is spiritually prepared, because for if a person is in mortal sin, the person is not qualified to receive Holy Communion, whether you are a Catholic or not. You can see then that a chaplain just giving Holy Communion to sick people, or even dying, is no longer a good minister of the sacrament, but is now abusing the work. As for what you call, you said Eucharistic ministers, the exact terminology of those who are not ordinary ministers, ordinary ministers of Holy Eucharist are bishop, priest, and the deacon, and possibly acolyte installed. All others are called extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion. Because if you call them Eucharistic minister, it can cause confusion as if they could celebrate the Holy Eucharist. But they are only extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion. Obviously, they have even less discretion because most of them would not have studied canon law to know those stringent conditions. In brief, Holy Communion is given to Catholics only. And if it can be given to anybody not a Catholic, you better check it with the bishop's office. Because most people would not know those conditions, and they are very severe. Have I given the answer to your question? We are not masters of the sacraments. We are only ministers. Even a bishop, even the pope, we are only ministers. We don't give Holy Communion to those people that are our friends, those we like. God will condemn us. We are ministers. The church tells us what to do. So we are ministers of the church and of Christ. 